Hello guys, welcome to another short video on Autocity. As you know, this is a great uh, audio editing tool using which uh, we can record our voice, we can remove background noise, we can cut it, edit it, amplify the volume and a lot of things we can do using this Autocity tool. First thing, we'll see how we can record our voice using this Autocity tool. As you can see, there is a record option on the top left corner using which you can record your voice. Let's introduce some noise as well in our uh, audio recording so that we can use that one in our audio editing part and we'll see how we can uh, remove noise uh, whichever we have introduced here. Let's uh, start the recording by clicking on the record button. Audacity is free open source digital audio editor and recording software which is available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux and other Unix like operating systems. Once you are done with your recording just uh, click on the stop button. So now our audio recording has been completed. So let's see what has been recorded. As you can see, there is some uh, noise which is introduced at the starting of our audio which is recorded. There is an inbuilt option in Audacity using which uh, we can remove the noise which is introduced at the starting and as well as the noise which is added parallel to the actual voice which we are recorded. For removing the background noise, there are two steps which we need to follow in Audacity. The first thing is we need to define the noise profile by using some portion of the noise which we have generated. Then we need to select all the audio file and remove the noise. So first let's some portion of the noise then click on effects. Here you can see there is an option called noise reduction select that one. As a first step you need to click on get noise profile click on that one. So this portion will be taken as reference. It will be compared with the other part of the audio file and wherever it matches it will remove that noise. The next step is you need to select the entire audio file. Then again select on effect. Go to noise reduction. Here you can see there are some predefined uh, noise reduction decibels and sensitivity that are defined by the audacity. If you want you can vary these things but it is good to have the default settings. Next click on OK. As you can observe here, noise has been uh, removed from the entire audio file. If you play this one now, you don't see any Odyssey background noise. The next thing which I want to show you is some of the basic features and properties of the Audacity. First thing is if you want to play this audio, you can make use of this cursor and place where from where you want to play the audio and you can use the play button at the top which you can see it here and click on play. Audio starts getting played and if you want to stop the audio you can use this stop button click on that one audio will get stopped here. Next thing is you can see there are two options zoom in and zoom out using which you can zoom in or zoom out your audio which will be very useful while editing your audio. You can zoom in as much you want or zoom out so based on your requirement. There are two more options which you can see fit selection to width and fit project to width. If I click on uh, fit project to width as you can see here entire audio file is getting fit to the screen resolution here so that I can take a look into entire audio file here. Similarly if I want to concentrate on only any particular portion of the audio, I can select that portion and make use of this another option that is fit selection to width. So as soon you will click on this option, the portion which I have selected that will be fit to the entire resolution of my screen. Just I will click on another option that is fit project to width so that I can see entire audio file here now. You can observe here even though we have used noise reduction functionality in Audacity, there is some audio which is inserted between our recording which you wanted to remove it. For that one there are multiple options. The first option is as you can see here there is an option called silence. If you use this one this portion will get silenced means that volume of that particular portion will be 
0. Another thing what you want to do is you can select this portion and you can remove this portion from this audio file. You can use the cut option which will be seen in the edit uh, top menu. Just click on that one. You can see that particular portion is removed from our audio file. Similarly, you can see there is lot of white space at the starting of my audio recording which I want to remove. I can use the same cut option or delete option which will remove that particular portion of our audio recording. So these are some basic options available in Audacity. You can save your edits and uh, this audio recordings and everything as a project in Audacity. For that one you can click on file then save project save project this will be saved as a project not as a audio file so that is the warning which is showing it here so I'm just saving this one on my desktop as recording then click on save the next thing which I want to show you here is amplify Using Amplify feature in Audacity, you can amplify only particular portion of audio or you can amplify entire audio all as well. In this case, as you can see here, the volume of this particular portion is very less. So I can select that particular portion and I can use Audacity's Amplify option. For that one, go to Effects. You can see first option that is Amplify. Click on that one. Here you can see amplification decibel which is shown here. You can use this bar to amplify. You can reduce the volume or increase the volume. So as soon as you go on left side you can see there is a negative mark which indicates that you are reducing the volume. If you want to increase the volume you can give the positive number here. You can directly enter the decibel number here as well. Before applying the amplification you can preview here. If it is fine click on OK and you can see amplification has been applied to this particular portion. So using this amplification you can either reduce or increase volume of any particular portion or enter audio. The next another feature which we can see is compressor. The compressor feature in Audacity reduces the loud sound and enhances the less sound audio portion whichever it is there in your audio file. Audacity will automatically detect those loud sounds and uh, less volume sounds and it will try to normalize that one. To use this feature select enter audio file then click on effects click on compressor option. By default Audacity will verify the audio file and it will do the settings. If you want you can alter these settings as well. Just click on OK to apply the compressor option in the Audacity. Till now we have edited the recorded audio. So whatever the recording has been done so that is internal within this tool itself. There might be some scenarios in which uh, your audio is recorded in some other tools or in recording studio which you want to edit. So to bring uh, those audio files into Audacity, what you can do is you can just drag that file from your local drive to this Audacity tool. One such example is if you want to add background music for this uh, recording, what you can do is you can have a background music and you can drop like this. You can see the background music file has been copied here. If I select this particular portion and fit that portion for my resolution, and if I play, Audacity is free, open source. as you can see there is some background music which is added to our audio file. Consider that in this example I don't want to use uh, the starting music which is here. I want to use the music which is in between here. I can copy that particular portion. I can bring that one at the starting. I can remove the other portion of the audio. So now we have same length of uh, audio and music. You might have observed that the background music's volume is constant and it is same throughout my audio file. Usually in uh, recordings audio gradually starts from the beginning and while ending it should gradually decrease. 
So that is uh, another common scenario. So there is another feature in Audacity, fade in and fade out, using which uh, we can achieve that one. For that one, first you need to define the portion from where it should start and it should uh, gradually increase. Then select effect. Then you can choose there is an option called fade in. Click on that one. Automatically you can see fade in effect is applied to our background music. So now background music starts from zero and it will gradually increase and at certain point it will stop and it will continue. Similarly you can apply fade out effect at the end of your audio file. So select the portion then click on effect and you can see there is an option called fade out. Click on that one. You can observe the fade out effect is applied here. There is another important feature which is uh, rarely used in uh, real time scenarios which I want to show it to you. Currently the audio which we have now when you will export this one it will be played in both left and right speaker equally. If you want to vary that one you can do that one as well in Audacity. For that one you can see there is a drop down option on title of the audio track you can click on that one then you can use the option split stereo track once you select that option you can see the audio file is split into left and right audio files if you want to remove your audio file for the right side uh, speaker and make it uh, audible to only left side you can delete this one or if you want to make less audible for the right speaker you can use only that particular right track you can use the effect and amplify and you can reduce the volume so based on your requirement you can do lot more using this one so these are some of the basic features in audacity so once you have edited uh, your audio file based on your requirement Finally, you need to export it either as a mp3, wav or any uh, audio file format. Then only you can uh, use it in uh, any application or you can circulate it to others. For that one, you can use the option file, then export. Here you can see there are different uh, audio formats are available, mp3, wav, ogg. So in this example, I will use mp3 format. You can choose the location where you want to export your audio file and give it a name and click on save. Then finally you will see a metadata tags window where you can uh, edit and add your own tags for the audio like name, track title and you can give one album title for this your audio as well. Similarly, you can edit other details of your audio file. Once you are done with defining the tags, click on OK. The audio file is processed now. So you can go to your desktop. You can open and listen to it. And if you check the properties of this particular audio file, you can see that tags or whatever the details entered by you that is appearing here. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this, please click on like button, share it to others and subscribe to my channel.